What's up, everybody? Baby Huey here out in Dallas, Texas for WrestleMania 38, but also NXT Stand and Deliver. Look at this. I'm here with Imperium. I got Gunther, got Fabian Eichner, and Marcel Bartel. How's it going? Uh, great. Thank you. Listen, I'm so excited <clears throat> to talk to you. I don't know if you can tell. Everyone says I look like you. <laughs> yeah. so I, I think we're like long lost brothers. <laughs> so I'm so happy to finally meet you in person. Like literally every time I go to like an indie show or something in the Bay Area, everyone's like, you look like Gunther. I'm like, that's a compliment. I'll take that. <laughs> but listen, I, I don't want to compliment you. You look amazing. Like, yeah, thank you. How, how did you do all that? Uh, just diet and work out hard. It's not really... Uh, Big secret today, just be consistent with your work and then you get the results. You're my goal because like, so I, in the last, what, four months, I'm down like 30 pounds. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to follow along with you. Yeah, keep so going. You're my inspiration. It's, it's a process. <laughs> it takes a while. So um, for you guys, uh, how has this been weekend going for you? I mean, it's, it's been, uh, it's been, I guess, a couple years since NXT has had a show outside of like the performance center yeah. in an arena. So how's it like, what are you guys looking forward to being back out there? Oh yeah, definitely looking forward to be like in a, in a in a big venue again because the last two and a half years, yeah, they have been quite different from what we've done our whole careers. Yeah. But to be fair, it was a challenge, and you grow through challenges and mm -hmm. going through them. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely excited and also very well prepared to be back out there now. Yeah. Now, Marcel, for you guys, looking ahead, you know, this weekend, defending the NXT Tag Team Championship against you know the Creed Brothers, but also um, uh, uh, MSK. You know, it's pretty challenging, you know, it's a triple threat. Like, you know, what are you looking forward to about that match? Well, you know, we're pretty much going from challenge to challenge. Um, you just said it, we've been with NXT for a long, long time. We've seen pretty much all the all the stages and um, we went all the way with NXT to what it became now. I yeah. think a lot of people questioned a little bit if we are um, going to be able to do what we do with the NXT 2.0 uh, conversion, right? Mm -hmm. But it actually made us uh, stand out even more. Um, we're at the very top right now, our second title reign. And hey, man, I can tell you, this is uh, tomorrow is the day we've been all working towards to. Right? Right? Like, yeah. like every sport has their big event and this is our big event. So 364 days a year we're work, working towards that. Mm -hmm. And um, we're not stressed out, we're not nervous because we put in the work, we did all that. And um, I think in general, um, Fabian and I, we influenced the whole tag team division and made it better because uh, when we first started, the tag team division was barely existed. Yeah. So um, we um, had a positive influences on a lot of the newer guys and um, even the guys who've been there for a longer time or who've been uh, doing this for a couple of years, um, they still were positively influenced by us because we were making sure that we're always on top and that we're always in front and outworking yeah. everybody. So obviously tomorrow means a lot to us, um, but we are very confident that we are going to come out on top. How's been that transition for you guys from NXT UK coming to the States for NXT? Uh, Fabian, I mean, for you, how's that been for, you know, performing overseas and then performing from a US audience? Well, I mean, uh, in Europe, um, or better yet, in England, you know, I tend like before we got to WWE, there were the shows, the amount of shows yeah. per week were like added up. And then over, coming over here, obviously, it's more like TV based. Mm -hmm. But whatever or wherever you wrestle, you focus on in the ring. You try to do the best that you can mm -hmm. inside the ropes. You know what I mean? And I think uh, we're really good and we hold each other accountable when it comes yeah. to that. We push each other in the ring just like we do outside and we try to get better every day. So it's worked up until now and we're going to keep doing the same thing going, going forward. So this weekend, you know, MSK known for like their high flying. Creed Brothers, you know, very tough ground and pound, wrestling background. I mean, is that, out of the two, who you see as a bigger threat? Well, we see both of them as a threat, obviously. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, we're in the disadvantage in that match tomorrow. But I think, uh, like Marcel said before, we go from challenge to challenge anyway. So all you can do is adapt and try to get the best out of it. And that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And I know both of you guys have been helping a lot at the Performance Center, teaching the new recruits. How's that been for you guys? Is that something you guys really want to keep doing even, you know, maybe after your career's done, you want to keep teaching and coaching? 
Well, definitely um, staying involved into in, in the business. Yeah. Um, my dad uh, was a professional wrestler for 33 years, so I was pretty much born into this. And I think we all have um, a level of passion for this, yeah. where we wouldn't be able to say no. We're just like up and out at one point. Um, the the whole coaching thing and helping out thing um, kind of organically happened a little bit. Um, it was nothing that we uh, really like tried to get to or whatever. But um, with all the new guys coming in and also like um, a lot of guys who are not from our sport. Yeah. Originally, yeah. um, it is fun because a lot of those guys are very hungry and they want to learn. And um, hey, it's 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 been great for us the last couple of months. We can't complain, and we have a lot of uh, very very good talent back there. And um, yeah, it's a joy to see them see them yeah. rise and get better every day. You know. Yeah, Gunther. So this weekend, you know, taking on LA Knight. We all know who he is. Very loud mouth, flamboyant. You're very much the opposite of that. Yeah. Um, for you like i know you know the mat is sacred so like what are your thoughts on just going up against la knight this guy who's kind of like yeah the opposite of who you are what you represent yeah it basically stands for everything that i yeah that's wrong with wrestling right now i think like lots of talking very little skill in the ring it's not the focus not on the in-ring work it's on his mm -hmm. talk it's good for him but yeah yeah i'm gonna slap him around a little bit and make Please sure do. he understands that it should work the other way around <laughs> yeah this uh, uh um for you you know we you saw the match with <laughs> with duke this past week you slapped the crap out of him loud as slap for you do you have like a memorable favorite chop to the chest that stands out for you no not really don't take track of that it's just it happens in the process i yeah. always try to be efficient with my stuff and do stuff that makes sense for me to do and yeah yeah hit people really hard in my long limbs makes a lot of sense for me and yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm glad to see you in the States now performing. I think everyone's been wanting you to come over here for the longest time. So we're super excited for you guys. I mean, I, I can only imagine down the road, hopefully Raw or SmackDown as well. Is that something you want to keep progressing and get onto the main roster as well? I mean, of course, it's you always want to make the next step and progress. But mm -hmm. in our heads, we don't fantasize about the future. Mm -hmm. We go one step ahead of time. Uh, we focus on tomorrow first. Yeah. Put on the best performance of the evening and then we'll see what happens. Awesome, guys, thank you so much. Like I said, huge fans of Imperium. I hopefully, you know, maybe one day I could be like a fourth member. Oh, that, yeah. That's what yeah. I, I'll keep working out, I'll follow you along, but yes. The one application day, like, process is rough, I gotta yeah, say that. It is, so yeah, I'm trying to be patient, but hopefully one day we can do a pose. And on the right track. On the right <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it, guys. Good luck this weekend. Thank you so thank very you. much, thank you. Thank you.